welcome to Scotland. We welcome to Glasgow. Viva Glasgow. Uh, my home city, I hope you have a fabulous time here. It is my great privilege and pleasure to welcome the 16th Conference of Youth here, 400 young people from more than 100 countries around the world, including for the first time five delegates from Scotland joining your discussions over the coming days. This is the very first in-person event of COP26, but it is also, in my view, the most important event of COP26. We must ensure that the voice of you and your peers across the world, the voice of the young generation, is heard loudly and clearly as these discussions take place over the next two weeks. As the leaders of the world arrive in Glasgow over the next couple of days, many of them coming from the G20 summit in Italy, they have a massive amount of work to do. Because right now, leaders of my generation, all of us are letting you down because we are not doing enough to secure the future of this planet of ours. So the job of the leaders gathering here in Glasgow is to make sure that they commit to the actions which is not being do done right now to limit global warming to 1.5 degrees, that they commit to the finance that is needed to help the developing world that has done the least to cause climate change, that they make sure that that funding can help repair the loss and damage that is already being suffered by communities across the world. And of course, that we stop, we stop the destruction of our natural environment, the rainforest and our environment more generally. So that is the task ahead of the leaders who will gather here, if I can be biased for a moment, in the greatest city of the world, in Glasgow. I'm sure there will be some people in the room that would dispute uh, that description. But that is the task lying ahead of those who will gather here for COP26. There is a question that all of the leaders of my generation must ask ourselves, and it is a measure of the success or otherwise of COP26. Can we in this generation look your generation in the eye and say that we are doing enough for the future of the planet? Right now, the answer to that question is no. A test of success for COP26 over these next two weeks is does it begin to turn that no into a yes? So make sure all of you, as I am absolutely confident you will, hold me and other leaders firmly to account. Good luck as you have your discussions and deliberations, as you formulate the statement of youth that you will put to the world leaders. We owe it to you to get it right at this summit. This city that I'm so proud to call home played a massive part in leading the world into the industrial age. But countries like Scotland have benefited from the emissions that are now causing climate change. We bear a massive responsibility to the future. So I really hope that this city, my city, not just as one that led the world into the industrial age, but will now be remembered in history as a city that helped lead the world into the net zero age. That's the prize over these next few weeks. You shouldn't have to be this, but you and your generation, you are the conscience of the world right now. And I wish you well in all of your deliberations. Good luck to the <laughs> conscience of youth. Enjoy. Enjoy all your time in Glasgow. Thank you very much.